The overall goal of this familiarization protocol is to increase understanding as well as potentially reduce anxiety for child's participants, resulting in a greater likelihood of the successful completion of the research protocol for the collection of EEG data. This method can help support the ethical application of research for all fields of study, especially those that involve vulnerable participants, such as individuals with linguistic and cognitive challenges. The main advantage of this technique is the use of evidence-based practices to increase knowledge and understanding of the activities of the research protocol while ensuring ongoing participant consent. This protocol may extend the capability of other researchers to obtain reliable data from all participants as it provides a model that is easily adapted and replicated for use with different research protocols. Generally, individuals new to this protocol may struggle with lack of familiarity with EBP. However, resources exist to support development and implementation of these techniques. Visual demonstration of the key steps of this method is critical as singular components, while relatively easy to implement may be more challenging as part of a collective package. Begin by escorting the participant to the designated play area containing various toys on the ground. Show the participant the five-point emotion rating scale and ask them to point to the picture that best represents how they feel. If the participant selects a one or two, proceed by reading and reviewing a social narrative with them. Now we're going to look over all the games we're going to play today. Please let me know if you have any questions of anything you might not be sure of, all right?